If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, kids, we got our Youth Burke DB10 or Festival Booster uh, update for you. This is pretty much a similar deck to what we've been working with since set seven, set eight, but we got like some new cards to mess around with, which are fun. So just gonna show you guys what my current Youth Burke deck looks like. So we're just jump right into it. Our right deck is, you guessed it, it's exactly the same. We're doing the Skyfall Arms in our right deck um, because I like space and I don't wanna run Potofall because I don't think I have space for a fourth Skyfall in my main deck. So I'm liking the way this works and I like being able to use the act right when I write it. So we're doing Skyfall Arms for the right deck. Moving on to grade threes, we're running three more copies of Skyfall for Persona writing. Simple as that. Running four copies of Tempest, which is A1 content right here. Tempest lets you get two more cards and you can send stuff to the bottom of your opponent's deck. Just getting a bunch of resources is really, really nice. So you can't go wrong with that. Then we got our three copies of Gust, which is pretty much like our finisher. It just gives you extra drive checks. And if you use the grade one, Sequana lets you do twin drives. So that's also really, really cool. So we're just sticking with this is our grade three and youth perk lineup. This is pretty common, I would say, so I'm not doing anything crazy here, but uh, let's just move on to those grade twos. I got three copies of uh, the boy, Schneisel, because uh, Schneisel lets you search out youth perks, which is cool. So it lets you find Persona Ride and your Rebel Form cards. Then I got three copies of Kyrie, which is also a really, really cool card. Kyrie lets you look at the top three, pick a card that's a card. <laughs> so if it's a grade two or less unit, you can call it. Uh, if it is not a grade two or less unit, you just put it in your hand, meaning you can add Elementaria Synctitude to your hand, which is also really cool. So I like the three Kyrie because it fills your board and you can grab your youth perks and add them to hand if you need it. So it's got some really good versatility with this deck. And a new card, we got two copies of our Spiral Cutie Angel. So what Spiral Cutie does is, if this is discarded during your right phase, you can Soul Bless one, put this on the bottom, draw a card, so that's nice. The second skill is if you Persona Road, you can Counter Bless one when this is placed, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card, put it in your hand, the rest goes onto the top or bottom of your deck, meaning that if there is a trigger there, you leave it on top. And if you find a good rebel form card, you can add that. Or if it's a card you don't really care for, you just gotta work with what you got from among them. Add that trigger to your hand for shield, you know? The fact you can kind of blast, put a card in your hand and know what's coming in your drive checks is really nice. And lastly for grade twos, we got the one maple because it's a pretty good staple. Maple calls itself from the drop zone every time you ride during your ride phase. So every time Sona Ride, getting a free unit on the board is just really helpful. It's just a really good discard target for, you know, when you're doing your ride deck. So we got a lot of good cards for discarding, which I really like. Good discard targets. That's what we want to work with here. Moving on to grade ones, we got our four Sequanas because we love drive checks and we love soul. Sequan is a 10k booster while you have Youth Burke and it moves his soul when you perform Revel Dress. And then that way you can give your Vanguard a single drive. It does not give your Vanguard drive plus one. It turns the drive into one. So be sure you're using Sequana first before you use Gust. Because if you use Gust first, uh, you will not get twin drive. You will get single drive. So moving Sequana to the side, we are then running three copies of uh, Wayward Therapy Angel, which is a really good discard target. So Wayward Therapy cannot be called uh, from your hand normally, but you can call it from card abilities. So with Kyrie or with Youth Burk. And its second ability is when it's discarded during your turn, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one and you can call this to a back row rearguard circle. So it's a 10K booster, it's a discard fodder and it fills your board. So this card is really, really good. Then we got the usual stuff. We got our three PGs and our Elementaria. This is, the Elementaria is really good in this deck because like I said earlier, you can use Kyrie to add it to your hand, which is really nice because who doesn't love adding free PGs? The other important fact is that, you know, we have G units out there. We have units with guard restriction skills and Elementaria just kind of helps you get around all that. And Elementaria is free against G units. So definitely want to run Elementaria if you can get your hands on one. Now we're getting into triggers. We got our OT. Keep forgetting this guy's name. It's like Dura, Dura Heis. The gold lettering just makes it really hard to read this card, but 
It's exactly exactly like our Martinoa. It just gives your rear guard's drive check. You can run the new OTs with the added effects to like restand rear guards, things like that. Just working with this, I don't really think it makes too much of a difference in my personal opinion. I do like the extra drive checks because of the threat of getting a trigger while you're swinging with your other rear guards. It's really nice. I like the Armartinella clone. It works for me. We got our skill crits. Um, this is really not warranted because the deck does not need help with soul. This deck has tons of cards that help fuel the soul, but it's a trigger with a skill. So, you know, do with that information as you will. Then we got our four vanilla heals. So we're going full on eight crit. Then we got our three fronts so that we can be really aggressive, but also get some shield, but crits win games and we want to run eight crits. And then we have our hardiness tier sorceress, which gets you the 15K if your opponent gained a crit by a card ability. So this is like pretty much good against Obscu died from Ava. And then three vanilla heals. So a uh, very, very simple, uh, basic uh, trigger lineup here. This is Youth Perk 101. So uh, nothing's changed. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I'll kind of get into a little bit of an example if you're new to the Youth Perk gang of uh, how this deck works. All right, so pretty much how this deck works is you just hit face really hard and you rebel dress every single turn. So very simply, you also need a board. So the way this deck works is you basically just want to rebel dress every single turn and you want to make a board. So to get started, when you're doing your first Youth Perk turn, you want to get that really fun therapy angel that you conveniently had in your hand. Hopefully discard that, boom, ride your youth burke. And then since you rode onto youth burke, you can use the therapy angel skill to then soul blast and call it to an open rear guard circle. So that's step one. Um, it's really up to you if you want to use the counter blast of the grade two youth to grab a grade two or greater card from your drop. I kind of tend to like to save the counter blast to use for other card effects and especially the soul. So let's just go ahead and do that. So what I like to do now is, I since I already have a Robo Form in hand, I try to go for board. If I don't have a Robo Form in hand, I try to go for, you know, Schneisel, just to kind of find one. But since we got a board, we might as well just, you know, make a make a bigger board. So we'll Counter Blast, we'll Soul Blast, Kyrie, look at the top three, and look at that. We can either go with our Sequana or you can go with a Schneisel, but since we have a Schneisel in hand already, let's go with the Sequana, give it a little shuffle. Then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and call that Schneisel. Maybe we'll get lucky, get another Youth Perk in hand. Look at that, got our Gus, so that sets up for next turn, which is cool. Now also, if at any point in time you feel like your hand is kind of mid, you can use Youth Perk's act ability to discard a card from your hand, look at top three, maybe get something out of it. But for now, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I got and just kind of go right into the battle phase. So we're just gonna swing for that fresh 23, get our twins right off. Damn, that's pretty good. We got a crit. Uh, and then we can just go right ahead and rubble dress. So we go right into Tempest. We can use Tempest's ability to get the front row 5K, reveal the top two, retire or send to the bottom, <laughs> uh, grade one and two. Those go to your hand, because that's free. And then Sequana gives your Vanguard a drive because you Revel Dressed. So now you can swing a Vanguard again, or you can do Schneisel if you want to do that, but drive check again for the fear of the crit. And then you can swing for 15, swing for like a big old 30, or, you know, depending where you put the trigger power, maybe this one's 25, but you kind of get the idea. The idea is that you make a board, you get a decent amount of hand out of it, send some stuff from your opponent's board to the bottom, Go back into your youth perk the next turn and then build a board again using the discard effects, uh, persona ride, letting you double check what's going on if you have that and just going with that. And you build a pretty decent amount of soul. Even though I soul blasted two cards last turn, I got two cards back in my soul again. So soul's pretty continuous. Don't really have to worry too much about that. And you just keep going from there. So thank you again for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you have any other deck profiles or anything else you guys would like to see in the future, let us know. Uh, also check out our card fights where we show showcase these decks playing against each other. And also big shout out to 50 Cards for sponsoring us. Be sure to check out their online shop where they got singles. They got all those nation bundles and play sets so it makes it easier for you to update your deck. And they also got Shadowverse singles too. So if you want to get into Shadowverse, check them out for that as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.